What's up guys, Josh Spoon here. Wanted to show you how I made my base video earlier where I used a Mickey Mickey and some foil and a piece of paper to make a pedal board. Okay, so here's uh, the Mickey Mickey box and the Mickey Mickey. It has a bunch of um, lead wires here connected to, if you can see, a or W, A, S, D, and F. So those send out the keystrokes of those letters. And on the other side, on the flip side, you can connect pieces to do up, down, left, and right, space and click. And then here is what's called earth, but is the grounding area. So how you hook this up is you use these little lead connectors. And I can hook up this one to the top and then uh, you'd get a piece of foil and I'm not going to do that because you should know how to cut foil but you get a piece of foil cut it into a few strips I made four strips for four pedal board buttons and I'm going to connect this first one to this first piece of metal and this will be my record. And then I need a ground. So that's where the earth comes in. So I'm going to connect this. Whoop, here we go. Some of these are hard to pinch. So I'm going to connect this to this earth. And then I'm going to connect the other side to the ground. Next thing I need is the USB cable to connect to the laptop. Don't have a lot of room on this table. So I'll connect it here. Laptop, connect it here on the Makey Makey. So it's lighting up, it's starting up. And if I press the ground here, and then I press the record here, you see the green lighting up. And that means that you have a connection. And so it's going to be sending out W to the computer. So for the sake of time, I'm going to speed up this next part, and I'm going to connect the other four lines. Cool, all four connected. I'll come over to Ableton Live and I will do this button right here, key map. Make sure this one's turned off. That's so that your computer keyboard can be used as a keyboard, a musical keyboard. So if you have that turned off, press key. I already have some of these set up from previous. So I'll delete that. And you just click on the one you want and then click the ground the first one for record and I'm going to click the second one for undo the third one will be reverse and the fourth one will be clear then I'll go out of key mapping then we'll grab a clip Let's drag it in here to this audio track. We'll start it. So let's just say the next thing we want to do is do a loop of that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press on my ground and then press on the first one to record. Then I'm going to press it again to play it. And to make sure it plays instead of record something over again, I'm going to press this button. So after I set the record for a certain amount of bars undetermined it'll then play instead of record and then I'm going to change the input to never afterwards so it doesn't play the loop and the clip all together alright so let's try it out
So if I press it again, it'll actually record again. So it's recording the same thing twice, probably in two different spots. And I press again, and I can play it back. Let's turn this down. Then I can also undo. So it's undoing and redoing. And then I can also reverse. Turn the reverse back on. And I can clear. And that's all on this Makey Makey. Really simple to set up. Uh, quite intuitive. And you can have a pedal board at least at home. Now, unless you like to perform live with your shoes off, as you see in my video. I don't have shoes on, it's not because I'm some hippie. It's because it needs uh, electrical contact from your body. So yeah, Makey Makey, pedal board, Josh Spoon, Ableton Certified Trainer, making a video on his dresser. Peace.